Okay, today on the Eclectic Candyman, we're going to be removing the rear brake cable from this caliper on my 01 Mustang Cobra. You might need to do this if you're doing suspension work or if you need to service the caliper off the car. The tools you're going to need to do this, I highly recommend, would be a pair of locking pliers to pull on the cable, and the other one would be uh, a pair of needle nose pliers because there's a clip that we'll need to remove first. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first step that we need to do is remove this clip on the inside. And I like to use a needle nose plier for it. We'll go ahead and get a good handle on this. And we'll just, just you can rotate it too a little bit if needed. And there we go. I pulled it off. That's step one. All right, so we have our locking pliers. We need to lock on the end of this cable. So we'll go ahead and just tighten this down and lock our pliers. What this is gonna do is give us the ability to pull, we have to pull this cable past the uh, its, its point where then it can be released. So let's go ahead and I highly recommend wearing gloves on your hands so that if your hand snaps off, you will um, not get hurt. And so, and there we go. That is removing the brake cable. And I'll show you how to put it back on. All right, now it's time to put our brake cable back on. We'll use the same tool, then we'll put our clip in. So we're ready to begin. As always, look, wear gloves because if your hand snaps back, you don't want to get hurt. So we're going to be focusing in on here. One thing we need to do is run it back through the hole in the caliper. And you want to get it as far on that as possible. So that when we come to this side, we'll clamp onto this, pull it around, Snap it back through there and we're and then we can put the clip in and we're done. So we'll go ahead and get my locking pliers set back up. Okay, we're gonna squeeze down a little bit, lock it in place, hold the caliper. Remember your hand could come flying off, so you want to be careful. Almost got it. Ta-da! There we go. Let it go. We've got it back in place, and I'm telling you, just about the only way you can do this right is with a pair of locking pliers. I've tried other ways. It's extremely difficult. All right, the last step is to get our clip back on, and I kind of find it easy to just use a pair of needle nose pliers. It's on the back side. Sometimes you can get these to snap right in with your finger, and there we go. The retaining clip is in, spinning freely, we're in good shape, and that's how you put the emergency brake cable back on.